Hi, welcome. I'm Dan Winter, and in this presentation, I want to show you how you can go from struggling to tone up, get in shape because everything hurts, you have to stop because of pain and injury, to overcoming your pain and injury, addressing it, improving your posture with corrective exercise so that pain and injury are a thing of the past, all the while losing belly fat by eating more of the right foods so that you have energy in the process. Probably tried various exercises hit boot camp leave you in pain yoga pilates these don't work we've tried endless hours on cardio machines the bike the treadmill but just walking leaves you in more pain so you have to stop you've probably gone to see the doctor who refer you to a physio and there's a whole lot of waiting in the meantime they tell you you should lose some weight strengthen your core all while not exercising. And this is fair enough because generally the exercise that we see people doing in the gyms is this crazy high intensity stuff, which will inevitably leave you damaged and sore in your current situation. So you go and see the physio and you go through their six, eight weeks of their slow, tedious process of isolating the treatment to one particular injury instead of the big picture. So when you get the all clear and this whole time you've been told you can't lose weight and it may be your menopause, your age, medication, might be your medical conditions, PSOS, Hashimoto's, insulin resistance. So all this lumped on, you're told you can't lose weight unless you're doing this high intensity exercise, but you can't do the high intensity exercise. So you're left feeling hopeless until you finally get the all clear that you can go back to the exercise that you were doing. And lo and behold, you end up with pain and injury and you have to stop again. Dan Winter and I became a personal trainer after my own experience with a ruptured ACL, years of chronic back pain, shoulder bursitis. Turns out I've got two rotator cuff tears and hip arthritis. And along the way, I also had operation on my bunion. And then I became a personal trainer to help others improve their core and posture and get themselves out of pain. But what I noticed was everyone racing into the gym, hell-bent on doing these crazy weight loss exercise classes to try and burn a bit of fat off. When this doesn't work, it further reinforces that you can't lose weight because of your medical conditions or your medical situation. Little fat loss journey and did bodybuilding competitions three times just to prove that I had the knowledge and know how how to get in shape and i know you're thinking well you're not you know you're just a 35 year old male it's probably easier for you but to get down to that last little bit that seven percent body fat it's quite hard and I'm telling you this to impress you but impress upon you like i was training because i was in the gym because that's all i could do i got the pain and injuries from years of skiing and raft guiding and i persevered through bike riding and kayaking but it felt like Training in the gym was all I could do, and I set my sights on building some muscle as a different pursuit than all the fun hobbies that I had. And while I was spending, you know, six days, all my free time in the gym, I kind of expected to see some results. When it didn't happen for two and a half years, I finally invested in a coach, and that's when I started to lose body fat and see my six pack for the first time in years. Own training, and you know, you go to physio, you go to these people but you got to take some knowledge away learn something about your body and apply it to your own training or practice if you will rather than just you know doing it for four weeks and jumping on something else and jumping on something else then i've been online and i've helped a whole bunch of people you can scroll down below and see all the testimonials i'd like to introduce the better back movement and the three pillars of the better back movement are the same that you've probably heard everywhere training exercise and mindset I think mindset's really about certainty. So if you've done the same thing in the past, you're certain that it's got your results, but you're also certain that as soon as you stop, take the foot off the pedal, you end up back where you are today. So we want certainty fed by measuring your results and seeing progress. So you do that by measuring your circumference measurements or your body fat, because when if you want to tone up or get in shape, best way is to build some muscle and then lose the fat. So you're not necessarily losing numbers on the scale but changing your whole body composition so doing your circumference measurements or your body fat is going to give you a much better idea of your progress and give you the certainty that your body is changing and things are looking fantastic then the weight loss really comes down to your eating habits and i know you've probably tried all the restrictive diets in the past and you're trying to juggle them with the other eating recommendations that you have to do for your own medical situation you have dietary requirements right 
So the key is to hit your protein targets given the guidelines of your dietary requirements. Be solution oriented on this to hit your protein targets. You're going to come against problems and obstacles and foods you like and foods you don't like, times a day. But, you know, that's why we disregard all the fasting and fad diets and just focus on hitting your protein target. Measure the result. And then we can just work with your current routines and habits to adjust your food intake to help you see progress faster if you like. But most importantly, you're avoiding the blood sugar spikes so that you've got energy throughout the day and you're eating enough protein to support the fat loss and the muscle growth. So long-term change with energy in the process, right? You don't have to wait till you've lost 10, 20, 30 kilos till you feel energetic because we need you to have the energy so that you can get back to your corrective exercise. Third pillar, your training. So rather than seen as weight loss exercise, you're, if you, you know, like I said, if you're not doing something fun, you're training, right? Training to build a better posture, better postural habits, better muscle memory. You know, you may think, oh, gee, I need better posture. I'll just pull my shoulders back when I remember. But, you know, if you're already motivated to exercise five, six times a week, you may as well spend that time on actually reinforcing better muscle memory and better movement patterns. Just like the physio where you go to do something, you've hurt your shoulder, so you've got to do these silly rotator cuff exercises or learning to set your shoulder and then your elbow back. So you're practicing this movement patterns and muscle memory, so why not apply that also to your strength training and your mobility, so you're stretching, so you work through a full range of motion. You do it slow and controlled in time with your breath. You use your breath, using your breath to constantly readjust your posture and engage your core for every set, so that becomes eventually second nature then you apply that to strengthening your hips and your feet and your middle back to hold yourself up better like i said yeah better posture and it's going to work you know hold better body language which is just got to be a good thing right make you better at job interviews and help you be pain free so that you can enjoy your hobbies working towards your retirement that you've sacrificed your whole work and life towards so you don't want to wind up, you know, huddled over a walking frame, hobbling from one waiting room to another to see a specialist. You'd rather spend that time free, you know, enjoying good food, good company and good exercise outdoors, nature and fresh air, right? You don't want to continue doing shitty painful exercise and long, slow, tedious rehab. It's time to finally learn how to engage your core and then apply it to reasonable exercise to build your body up, get out of pain and exercise is great for your mindset because you feel like you're doing something productive so you're going to make right choices and if you beat yourself up because of eating habits like you've you maybe like sugar like your sugar like your snacks right we're going to be solution oriented and use that towards eating delicious protein foods instead rather than sugary things and this way you'll maintain your independence and quality of life well into your later years. So I'm working right now as a river guide out in the wilderness for 10 days at a time. So for you to get started, I've put a program below. You can click the link, seven day free trial. After seven days, you should be confident about how to engage your core. You can do that from lying in bed if you can't get out of bed because you're in so much pain and then get, eventually build on that. And also use the app to log your protein intake, see if you're reaching your target, and then going from there. So once I get back, I look forward to hearing from you and how you're going in your emails. And if you need more help, then we can get more in-depth one-on-one coaching from there. So click that button below, get started, check it out. If you don't like it, cancel any time. And yeah, after a week, it's 97 a month, so bugger all. All right, see you in there.